Today on Ninja Lab, we'll be going through the results of the most recent National Ninja League qualifiers held at Apex Climbing Gym, Axios Warrior Academy, Dexterity Depot, and Warrior Jungle. Hello, my name is William, and I'm your new host for the show. Let's get things started with the results for the Apex Climbing Gym. For the adult female division, in third place was Trisha Belmere, who was able to shuffle her way through the lily pads, however was taken out in the very next obstacle on the spinning pipe grasper. In second place was Liz Elderman. She was able to complete the lily pads faster than Trisha, but she was also taken out by the spinning pipe grasper. And in first place was Lily McCoy. She was the only woman to be able to get past the spinning pike grasper, but unfortunately she was taken out on the very next obstacle, the spinning broken bridge. For third place of the adult male division was Alex Carson. Alex was able to make his way through 13 of the 14 obstacles, including this cool looking gate opening obstacle, but unfortunately he just missed the button on the final obstacle. But the good news is he qualifies for the world championship. In second place was the best looking man in ninja, Donovan Matoiver. Donovan technically completed the course, however he unfortunately went out of bounds on the last obstacle with his foot meaning that he was disqualified on the obstacle which resulted in him only taking second place instead of the first place that he would have had. And in first place was Jesse Lucero. Jesse powered his way through the challenging course and was the only man who able to complete the entire thing. Congratulations, Jesse. You earned yourself 10 more points onto your season standing. Remember, go to nationalninja.com to look up the schedule of upcoming qualifying events. Now, let's look at the results for the Dexterity Depot. Unfortunately, we don't have the uh, footage for the Dexterity Depot qualifier, but I do have the results right here. For the adult female division, third place was Nikki Perella, who completed the Pirate Swing. Uh, second place was Rachel DeGutz, who completed the Prince of Persia Wall Run, which was one obstacle further. And then in first place is Rachel Brown, who adds 10 points to her total by completing the Jump Pink Spider, uh, a full four obstacles further than the second place. And then in the adult male division, third place was Judas Licadario, who completed the Nunchuck Slider. And then in second place was Luke Dillon, who completed the Flying Nunchucks, which is one obstacle further. And in first place was Joseph Meisner, who completed the Spinning Tubes, which is one obstacle further than that, which also adds 10 points to his season standings. It's now time for the comic question of the week. So, how are you liking this new format? Let us know in the comments below so we can figure out how to tweak things to make it better just for you. But for now, let's look at the results of the Axios Warrior Academy. Unfortunately, no women completed in this gym, so for the adult male division, third place was Roger Maddox. Maddox was looking good on the course early on. Unfortunately, he lost his balance on the balance tank and fell on the course. But he does get to qualify for the World Championship. In second place was the Island Ninja Grant McCartney. Grant was looking good on the course overall. However, when he faced his nemesis, the Salmon Ladder, he unfortunately went down on the course. But the good news is that he qualifies and is moving on to the World Championship. And in first place was Josh Norton. 
Josh also failed the salmon ladder. However, he was able to complete the previous Captain Hook's obstacle approximately 13 seconds faster than Grant, meaning he not only qualifies for the World Championship, but he earns 10 points for his season stats. Now let's finish things up with the results from Warrior Jungle. For the adult female division, in third place was Brittany Holterman. Brittany was looking good early on in the course, however, she was unable to hold her grip onto the nunchuck section and fell on the course. In second place was Beaston Sarah Heeson. Keeson was able to complete the Cannibal Domes faster than Brittany, however, just like Brittany, her grip gave out on the nunchucks. And first place for the women was none other than Jesse Flex Lebrecht. Jesse was the only woman to be able to complete the whole course, and she did it in 3 minutes and 32.3 seconds, an impressive run that officially qualifies her for the World Championship. For the adult male division, in third place was the cat-loving Jackson Twait. Unfortunately, we don't have footage of his run, but I can tell you that he finished the course in 2 minutes and 43.9 seconds. In second place was Danny O'Donnell, who managed to beat Jackson by only 0.2 seconds by finishing with a time of 2 minutes and 43.7 seconds. And even though we had eight male finishers and one female finisher, the fastest of them all was none other than Jake Murray, who finished the course in 2 minutes and 42.5 seconds, only inching out Danny O'Donnell by 1.2 seconds. An amazing run that qualifies Jake Murray for the World Championship. Thank you all very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to be alerted when new videos become available, and make sure you check out full runs from this season's qualifiers posted to our YouTube channel. I'll see you all next time. Later.